What's up everyone? We're about to hit the road for the 2020 season, but before we leave, I wanna show you what I'm throwing. So to start off, this is my brand new pound bag. Uh, Levi in Pound Crew made this baby for me. It's my signature bag for this season, the black and purple. And I got my Kona logo right here. Super stoked, thank you guys, I'm loving it. Uh, but let's start with the putters. So right now I am putting with the Nexus Firefly. I'm loving this thing. Uh, the plastic is really nice, really tacky. For me, it's a really straight putter. It glides for days. I've, I've never putted with a putter that just goes, you know, so far for so long. Uh, doesn't really dump out too hard. Next up, we have the XT Nova. I love the XT Nova because it flies super straight for those backhand upshots. I don't throw this on a forehand. The XT plastic on the rim is awesome for if you want it to hit and sit, it just grabs the ground really well, it's extra tacky. Next is my Star AVRX3 with our hot cocoa stamp. I love this thing for backhand and forehands. I can throw it flat either way and I know it's just going to crash hard right on a forehand or it's going to crash hard left on a backhand. Super reliable disc and headwinds. So let's get into the mid-ranges. I'm going to start with the most overstable thing in my bag. The Champion Cayman. I used to throw the Gator a lot, and then when the Cayman came out, I fell in love with it. It doesn't have a big bead, which I prefer because it seems like it comes out of my hand a lot cleaner on the forehands. Also a very reliable disc uh, for backhand as well. It's always gonna dump left. It's never gonna flip up on me on those short up shots. Next is my Glow MD3. This is one of my go-to mid-ranges. It's super straight and then it has a nice reliable fade left. The glow plastic on this MD3 starts off a little slick and then once she gets beat in, she's really grippy, feels really nice. Next we have my P-Line MD3. So it's very similar obviously to the glow MD3 but not as stable and when she gets beat in, she gets a little bit flippier. So I can throw this thing flat It'll go straight and then it'll have a little fade. Great for either a dead straight tunnel shot hole or something that maybe it's tunnel shot and then it finishes a little bit left. Next, I recently just put back the Star Mako 3. I throw all my mid ranges in 180 grams. I love this thing for dead straight shots. Like I said, with the P-Line MD3 for a tunnel shot, this thing is great for tunnel shots as well or a shot that maybe goes slightly right. So let's get into my fairway drivers. This is one of my absolute favorite discs. I have the Star Roadrunner. This is my Heiser Flip Beast. So she, I can release her on like a crazy uh, Heiser angle and she'll pop up, go flat and she'll even pop up and go any angle and she'll ride that line. Uh, I use this shot for tunnel shots as well or a shot where I really want it to flip up hard and just ride right. Next I have my Champion Roadrunner. Similar to my Star, obviously, same mold, but this thing won't flip as hard. This is probably one of my go-to drivers. Very consistent, it doesn't have too much turn, it doesn't have too much fade, it's very neutral. So I can throw this thing on a little bit of a hyzer or flat and she just, she goes straight for probably 325 to 350 feet. Uh, the plastic feels great. I actually got this from Ricky Wysocki in Waco. So shout out to him. This is actually one of my favorite discs ever. Uh, but yeah, one of my go-tos. Next, I got my Star Sidewinder. She's a little bit swirly. She's a cute little purple. Uh, I throw this thing similar for my Roadrunner, but she's a little bit more stable. Uh, but I use her for straight shots that needs a little bit of fade. It doesn't flip up as much as the Roadrunner, so I can trust to throw it super hard and know that it won't flip up. It'll just go dead straight and maybe have a little bit of fade at the end. Next, I got my Star FD with the Hot Cocoa stamp, of course. Very similar to the Star Sidewinder, but it's slower. So I feel like I can throw this thing pretty hard, but it won't come out of my hand very fast, if that makes sense. I feel like I can throw this thing hard and she'll just glide and like float to the basket. It's not uncontrollable. It's very neutral, very straight. Next, I have one of my favorites, the Star T-Bird. So I had this thing out of the bag for a while. I don't know why, but once I did, it, it filled a spot in my bag that I really needed. So. This disc I like to throw on like 320 to 350, same with my other fairway drivers. Um, I can hit it hard and it'll go on flat on a flat angle and it'll go flat 
and then she'll dump left. Uh, in a headwind, this is a great disc. I don't think she'd flip up very hard. She's super stable, which I really like. She's almost like a shorter destroyer. So I can throw this thing on an any angle, she'll come out, and you know, those flat shots, like I said, she'll always fade left. A new addition to my bag that you will all be very shocked about is the Colton Montgomery Lone Howl. Man, I love it, it's, it's faster. For me, it uh, comes out of my hand really clean on a forehand. I can trust it on an Anheuser angle on a forehand and it'll come out. Also on backhand, I feel like I can throw it pretty hard and she won't pop up on me, but she'll go straight and then she'll dump left, which I really like. Uh, I feel like it'd be really great for skip shots too, but I, I'm loving this thing. The plastic is great and I got one of the prettiest ones, of course, because I got to pick it out myself. But yeah, the Lone Howl, I'm, I'm digging it. So let's get into the destroyers. I have three destroyers. They are all in star plastic. Most overstable one, Colton got this for me at the European Open. And then I have the in-between, kind of dead straight destroyer for me, he, also from the European Open. And then I have the most understable destroyer in my bag, the Riki Waisaki stock stamp. Uh, they all do something a little different where this one for me goes a little bit further. It uh, feels like it's a little bit more beaten. This one hasn't been in the bag as long, but I can still throw it on that Anheuser angle and she'll come out flat, ride, and almost end flat or straight with a little bit of fade. And then I have this guy. He's my, my most overstable one. And this one I can crank on, a, on an Anheuser and she's coming out for sure. But I like this one on four hands. It's really reliable on an Anheuser. Definitely a reliable disc in a headwind. I won't be grabbing like my Shrike in a headwind. I'll definitely be grabbing the Destroyer. I have the Star Shrike. I have two different Star Shrikes. I have one in a 168 and one in a 175. I like both of these a lot. Uh, this is definitely, of course, my more understable one. It's not as heavy. And it's also, she's super beat. She's been in the bag for a really long time. But I love this thing for hyzer flip shots or shots where I want to throw an Anheuser and have it hold the angle and ride all the way right. This one is definitely more overstable. I have to release it more on a flat angle because it's heavier in weight. And she'll go, she'll pop up a little bit and then she'll come out. She's not as understable as this one. This is probably my max distance driver. If I'm in a huge open area and I wanna crush a max distance drive, I'm probably grabbing this one. So this one's super nice for my Heiser flip ones. And then this one's just super nice for just straight distance. Lastly, my trusty 2015 Nate Sexton Firebird. Make sure to check out the 2020 Nate Sexton Firebirds at the Factory Store website. That also helps support him on the road. But I love this thing so much. It's been in the bag since I got like a bag and became a professional disc golfer pretty much. So this one's definitely a soft spot in my heart. But this is my go-to forehand disc. I use it back I use it backhand sometimes, but it's usually for forehands. I'm looking for something around 300, 325. It doesn't go very far for me because it is so overstable. I can throw this thing on a flat angle and she's definitely gonna dump right pretty fast. Uh, I usually have to throw it on an Anheuser angle to get a lot of distance out of it, but definitely a super reliable disc if you're looking for one. So my favorite part about having a bag and making it your own is all of my cute little keychains. So I'm a huge Star Wars fan, so I got Chewbacca, and then Colton and myself, we love Lego keychains. So I have Shark, I have Santa Claus, I have Corn, and it looks like Colton because he has a mustache. Um, and then over the years, well, past two years, I've toured with Colton. Uh, he's bought me, I love cows. When we were in Texas, I got my cow keychain. And then we went to the world's biggest truck stop in Iowa. So he got me the piggy. And then we got the stormtrooper down here. Lilo and Stitch up here. It's one of my faves. This past year, we were at US Women's and Paige Pierce walked up to me and she's like, I have a present for you. 
And I was like, what? I'm like, what could she have for me? And she had two of these minis made for me. I sent one to my mom, obviously, and it's hanging in her office at Hero. But uh, this is my favorite mini of all time. If I lose this, I'm gonna be so upset. There's actually Return to Kona Panis on the back, if found. But my favorite mini, I always like setting it down and being like, all right, mom, let's, let's bang some putts.